Hello, in this video we will be talking about software testing. The learning objective for this video is as follows. After watching, students should be able to explain different types of software testing techniques. Testing is a critical part of the implementation phase. Testing helps ensure that the system performs as outlined in the specifications. It's unwise to test spontaneously without an overall testing plan. Testing must be done systematically, and the results of that testing should be documented carefully. The illustration on the slide shows that the terminology commonly used when testing software is looking for bugs in the software. This comes from the early days of computers when they were built using vacuum tubes. And in fact, a computer system could go down when an actual bug or insect was caught in one of those vacuum tubes. That terminology is stuck, and we still use it today, looking for bugs in the software. Here's an example test plan. These templates might look different depending on the organization. In fact, a test plan is not only one page long, it's often dozens of pages long. In any case, it should refer to what requirements you're testing, which interfaces you're testing, and what your expected results are and how they differ from the actual results of the test. There are several different categories of testing. I put the Moodle icon here on this screen because throughout the rest of this video I'm going to be referring to the Titanium Moodle Course Management Learning System as an example of testing. The first category of testing is unit testing. In unit testing you test each module and test whether it performs its specified function. So in the example of Titanium, if you were the one who was programming Titanium, you would program a module for storing grades, you would program a module for creating assignments, and so on and so forth. So a unit test would test each one of those individually. The next level is integration testing. This is where you test the interaction of modules. Do they work together? So if you were the one programming Titanium, you might test whether the assignment module and the grade module work together. When students submit assignments, can those be graded and the grades flow through correctly to the grading module? You use a lot of different use case scenarios to test these different combinations of modules. System testing takes a more holistic picture. You could have large use case scenarios that test the whole system together. For example, testing an example course in Titanium, which includes assignments, grading, exams, and everything else all at once, and see if it all works together. System testing also includes testing the non-functional requirements, for example, security, performance under high loads, etc. The last level of testing is acceptance testing. Acceptance testing means that you test to assure that the system serves the organizational needs, and it involves the actual users of the system. If you were programming Titanium, you would want a student or professor to try it out and see if it works for their specific needs. Let's talk about some of these in more detail. First is unit testing. There are two types of unit testing. Black box testing, which focuses on whether the unit actually meets the requirements stated in the specification. So in our example of Titanium, we check to see if the assignment module works by seeing if we can create an assignment and distribute it to students. The second type is white box testing, which actually looks inside the module at actual code. So if we were doing white box testing of the assignment module in Titanium, we'd actually look at how it is coded and look at the programming languages to see if there's anything wrong with it. There are five common functions that you can test during unit testing. Creating, changing, deleting, displaying, and finding items. So if we were testing the assignment module that we programmed in Titanium, we would check if we can create a new assignment, change that assignment, delete the assignment, how the assignment displays to different users, and how we can find an assignment that we've created. Here are a couple more important terms and tools for unit testing. Stubs are placeholders for modules to enable the modules around them to be tested. For example, if we were testing the assignment module but we hadn't yet created the grading module, we could have a grading stub in place so that when we clicked a button that says grade assignment, it would just take us to a page that says the grading module would be here. Hard-coded values are placeholder values placed into the system during testing when calculation of those values has not yet been coded. For example, if we were creating the grading module in Titanium, but we hadn't yet coded how the final grades would be calculated, we might hard code a value of a letter grade A to display after we've input several grades, but haven't yet programmed how those grades will be calculated into a letter grade. Stubs and hard coded values allow you to test smaller parts and modules of your system before other modules are completed. Remember, the second level of testing is integration testing. 
The categories of integration testing that you'll see on this screen won't be tested on the exam. They're just here for your benefit. You should know what integration testing is at a high level, but I won't test you on these different categories. There's user interface testing, which tests each interface function, use scenario testing, which ensures that each use scenario works correctly, data flow testing, which tests each process in a step-by-step -step fashion. This is often taken from the data flow diagrams. And there's system interface testing, which makes sure that data transfer between separate systems happens smoothly. The next level is system testing. Again, you won't have to know the categories on this screen for the exam, but you should know at a high level what system testing is and what is included in it. One type of system testing is requirements testing, which ensures that integration did not cause new errors. Another is usability testing, which tests how easy and error-free the system is when people use it. There's security testing, which assures that the security functions are handled properly. There's performance testing, that assures that the system works under high volumes of activity. For example, if there are a lot of students logged into Titanium at the same time. And finally is documentation testing, which is where analysts check the accuracy of the documentation. All of these are extremely important forms of system testing. Finally, there's acceptance testing, and you should know the categories on this slide for the exam. Alpha testing is performed by users to assure they accept the system and frequently repeats earlier tests, but it does not use actual data. Here we would give the titanium system that we created to a professor and ask them to click around on the different buttons, but not actually use it for their class. In beta testing, users re use real data, not test data. Actual users monitor for errors or needed improvements. So if we did a beta testing of a titanium-like learning management system, we would let professors use the system for a semester to actually administer their assignments, quizzes, and grades. And then we would receive feedback from them on their actual use of the system. User sign-up following acceptance testing indicates that the system is ready to be placed into production. If you've done well in your analysis and design phases, your acceptance testing will hopefully go better than it did for Dilbert. Let's apply what we've learned from this video to our semester project. Think about the project we've been carrying out in class this semester. How would you complete unit testing? Which units need to be tested? How would you perform integration testing? What kind of system testing would you need to do? And what approach would you take for acceptance testing? Think carefully about these questions and then share your thoughts with the class on the online forum.